Hello and welcome back to Stone Hearth, where we are continuing and hopefully going to succeed at stopping the goblin horde that is at our doorstep. A um, couple quick things I want to get to at the start of the video. I actually wasn't planning to record this today. Oh, level up on the trapper. That's handy. Um, what I wanted to do was mid war, and I actually spent a good, uh, I'll say five hours working on the map and getting it to about 50% completed, but it seems like I hit kind of a wall with that, that uh, it's now crashing. Um, I don't know what's causing it. I think it's the entity cap or something like that, to where we're up to like 30,000 objects placed on the map, which is a crazy number to think about. So, that's not going to go up today. I don't know how long it's going to take me to fix it, but I'm looking into it and talking to some people to see if they can help me get that straightened out. Anyways, let's hop into this. Um, a lot of people are clamoring for more defenses, and I agree. So what we're going to do is start building a wall. Um, I don't know where I'm going to put this. Or anything like that, but I feel like it's gonna become necessary at this point uh, to try and I guess You know fight them in, in a better Area than just an open field inside of our town. So the army up here is really not a threat right now um, They do affect our FPS a little bit because there are a lot of entities there But right now I can ignore them and work on defense and we'll see if we can't get some sort of wall up. So let's go ahead and go straight into the design of building and use some freestanding walls here. Um, first, I need to actually remove that trapping zone as that's just gonna get in the way of things. We're also gonna have to harvest, make sure things are pretty much cleared out loot wise so that we'll actually be able to uh, build unobstructed here So pausing might be best just in case we get attacked while designing this thing here and Let's go ahead and think Well right now this is probably the only way Entry point wise that might make sense because everything else is kind of fenced off already um, So let's go ahead and maybe start laying out Something that would be reminiscent of a wall, but obviously stone instead. So wall material will be stone. Uh, support material will be stone as well. A nice dark stone. And then we will... Okay. I guess it doesn't want to keep that. There we go like a there now it's actually defaulting correctly can I do a wall at an angle no no I cannot and so I'm thinking if we're able to just get the wall up in some sort of way here I can also dig down a block or two to maybe make a moat type of thing but uh, let's go ahead and see if we can build that, I don't even know if we have the inventory space or the stone kind of stockpiled here. Uh, let's see, resources. We have 240 stone. I think it said it would take 10 for that initial section there. So we'll we'll see how all that goes. Uh, once the base wall is done around the town, uh, of course, for the door, I'll work on bulking it up, getting some pathways on it, and seeing where it goes, but I really just want it to be a peaceful next couple days so we have time to get this wall up and running. It's gonna be a bit of a problem getting back towards the mines though eventually. Another thing I wanna do is if we take a look, let's, let's decide on how to train up more armies. Right now we're up to two clerics uh, six footmen. A lot of them are new. They're not trained. Two bowmen and one knight. So, 
I mean, that's that's a lot of people on the army. And I really hope it's enough. But you, you'll just never know until you're at that point. The wall is going up, though. Now, I know a lot of the time the enemies will come from this direction. And then also from back there. Which I have to see. It's nighttime, which means we definitely got to be on high alert here. Definitely catch them before they get to our town, if there's going to be anything tonight. As we we are playing on a hard mode, and it, it's starting to get tough, which is great. Um, you know, I always enjoy a challenge. We might die a couple times, in which case we ought to think rethink some strategies as things attack us. But uh, right now, it's, it's going okay. We're on double speed, just trying to... Uh, Make this go quickly as possible, though. Looks like a lot of people are enjoying themselves kind of around the campfire in town. Pause. Why is Ogo's army approaching? They have no ladder to get down, so I don't know why we would get that notification. But I think we can maybe ignore it right now. Unless there's another army in the distance that I don't know about. Doesn't look like it. Looks like we're safe. Let's just keep up with double speed. The town though, uh, I didn't want to initially build a wall um, as I'm going with the small village kind of feel and look, which I always like. It's kind of a natural progression of things. I wanted a village and then build some type of fortress, but it seems like we're having to build a wall first just to keep our people safe. Anything off in the distance? I need to find something to kill that'll help my uh, army out as much as possible. Which I'm thinking about kind of splitting up the party here and uh, trying to get a little bit more of a, of a balanced thing. So if I put the knight and cleric together So let's let's go for a party. So something like this for green, and then green we will add members, and we'll just add these guys. So we'll have a squadron with a cleric, a bunch of footmen, and an archer, and a squadron with a cleric, an archer, a knight, and a couple footmen. So hopefully that'll be effective maybe we can pinpoint some weaker targets to kill which we're actually about to be tested right about now um okay so we're against three archers and an orc an, an ogre you could say so let's go ahead enter town defense mode go ahead and move everyone in first and those archers are the biggest issue for sure and I really need to be bouncing aggro around as much as possible okay our invaders are here our full army is nat though. Everyone was kind of in the mine gathering resources. Which is bad. So let's tell red team to go after a different goblin here. So the goal is to definitely focus down the, the archers as they are the damage here. Okay, one archer is down. Okay, another archer is down. We have some people severely low on HP, it says, but... So green team is attacking the archer. We'll move red team to attack the ogre. 
Okay. So that might have been effective. We got a uh, level two footman, which is good. Yeah, having two clerics is definitely going to be a help. And it looks like that ogre is finally making a run for it. Okay, there we go. So we were able to defend uh, the attackers, which is very nice. And we we're able to hopefully get some good XP here. So footman level one, footman level two, level two, level two, level three. Our new cleric got to level one, which is great. Archer level one, great. More damage there. Our knight finally got level one, which means uh, he actually gets 10% more defense, which will help out a lot. Okay, and another footman got power strike, which is great. I don't know why my building designer opened up, but it did. Now let's just kind of clear the horizon here. We'll let everyone kind of heal up. And we'll start laying out the next section of wall, I think. But we won't start cr like with the real construction on it until the last one is completed. So this will get dragged out. I'm essentially, I know it's kind of lame looking, but we're looking for kind of a box design here. As it's the quickest and kind of easiest for us to manage. Just go out a little half there. And there is still room for a couple little huts, which would be nice. Um, let's decide on a door. Obviously, and we we're going to need one. So, a wooden door. What are these? These are clay doors? Uh, yeah, let's, let's just go with a wooden door. A wooden double door. Kind of to make sure we have a good flow of people. In and out. So that's that next section of wall. And we'll have to manually sculpt the towers and things around it. I just hope we have enough stone for all of this. Is there stone count up to now? And I also hear... Ah, yes, I thought I did. It's a giant zombie. Um, so let's go ahead and get some more XP. For our people. Great. So they're gonna quickly rush in there. Again, the faster we can level them up, the better. Fighting in the forest. Pretty hard to see in here. Nice. Okay. Anything else threatening us? Nope. Doesn't look like it. Also, uh, sadly... Oh, we got a footman level 3 out of that. Which is great. More power strikes, the better. As that's a really important move to have. If we have 6 of them using power strike at once, it'll be very useful. Let's check our blacksmith real quick. See how he is doing. I wouldn't mind getting some iron pikes. But I don't think we have enough iron anymore. Bronze helmet might be good as well. So we'll craft... We'll craft a bronze helmet. See what it does for our people. Hold on. I'm getting fighting music. Why? Though, if I had to guess, it's because our people are underground over here. Yeah. 
It's because they're underground and they're close to an enemy, technically. We we're just getting uh, a nice little sound bite from it. So we have two farmer, well, a farmer and a cook. And oh, wow, everyone's inside. Check our cauldron capabilities. We can make a pollo. We can also make maybe some bread. No, maybe even Let's go ahead and craft three omelets. That'll be pretty cool. Cornbread sounds cool. And eventually we can make make some uh, rag of ribs, which would be great. This wall section isn't being worked on. It has me a little worried. But they probably do a section at a time here. So they're working on getting that up to the full height. This one's adding a new layer as well. And I don't know if I want to do a time skip or not. I, I could, but the way uh, Stone Hearth is definitely different from Timber and Stone is that it's definitely a lot more action packed. And so that makes for uh, time skips to be, in my opinion, a bad thing because a lot of things can happen uh, and happen very quickly. Like from us getting wiped out to a, a structure popping up somewhere that I have to take care of. No, I don't. I don't want to do any harvesting. Okay, there's a bronze ingot on the ground, which we can pick up though. I do like the looks of our village. Like it. The layout was starting to be really good. Not a fan of the road that we were building. Um, though it kind of looks like a giant middle finger. It, uh, I don't know. I think we could have done something a little bit better for the road. It's just we've been so busy getting the structures built and some more security that it's kind of fallen to the wayside. So that's, okay though. They're, they're still wanting to build, so we'll let them do that until it's done. Though they won't remove that scalfing until it is. So pause building build. Yes. Okay. We'll just refresh it, see if anything happens because of it. I'm excited to see what the uh, next update's gonna hold because Alpha 16 is out now fully. It's no longer part of the experimental branch that we were in. Um, I haven't really heard anything from the devlog about what they want to add, but I hope I hope some more balancing and tweaks, of course, optimization would be helpful. And there are still, there's still one more hidden job that they had planned that I don't know what it is. It's just a nice question mark. And what are they doing in here? Are they mining? Okay, hold on. Hold on. Suspend mining. You, you guys need to be building, not mining. Though getting rock is important. Um, I think we have enough of it. I really do. All right, morning. Yet again, constantly on the lookout for an army on the horizon. It looks like we're okay right now. I know there is another goblin army after Ogo. Um, don't really know what it is, but I'm rather anxious for the future here. Maybe suspending mining wasn't good. Let's. Uh, Let's just remove that all together. And see if I can't. Pause building build. Yes. Pause building build. Yes. We may be running into a bit of a problem here, guys. 
one, our army is spread thin because a bunch of people were in there. So I'm actually going to pull them out. Tell them to defend an area. Because what they do naturally is kind of just spread out amongst all your people. So they always kind of have a person at hand for defending them. But this isn't good. Um, I can tell you now, this is not good and nothing is being built. So, maybe... Okay, so we're gonna remove... Crap. If I remove this, they're going to just... Okay, we'll just start on another section, maybe... Designing the other one before the first was fully constructed was a bad idea, but I've never had a problem with it as long as I never told him to actually start construction. Do we have two knights now? Or is that warrior just wearing a copper helm like the knight? I think he's just wearing some leather skull cap. He's wearing a leather skull cap. I guess they changed the looks of the skull caps. And they made the knight a little bit different as well. This this model here used to be kind of what the knight looked like, but they gave him a proper uh, knight's helmet. Pretty cool. And of course, there are sirens outside, so if you guys can hear that, I apologize, but not much I can do about it. Let's release them so they can go eat. Yeah, the max population is definitely 20. So I hope the army size that we're facing isn't going to get much larger um, than it already is. And I mean, this foundation is being laid out across everything, but uh, this one feels like it got interrupted or something. I don't know why. Are these the two spots where I had to change the material type? I think that might be the issue. Because these other sections didn't you know, get interfered by material type changing. So, that's definitely a problem. Let's go ahead and make two doors here. Just so we'll have them. Now, I don't think normal monsters can break down doors, but the ogres can. So, if we can get our two archers perched up there, we can hopefully deal with anything that doesn't have an ogre. So we can fit a building here, probably. Another one here. Maybe some housing, just some standard housing back in these corners. We could probably fit the farm to a bit more of the full size here. And then maybe the blacksmith needs a place somewhere. As I think he's the only one without a house now. Oh, no. Stonemason as well. And the herbalist. Kind of the cleric thing. So I wouldn't mind making some type of small church for the clerics and herbalists to be in. But we'll see how that goes. Kind of wish I knew the cheat for the auto construction because this this really should have been built by now and I wouldn't feel bad about just spawning it in since it's being glitchy but who knows this is gonna be another long episode of stone hearth because I feel like you know maybe you guys enjoy watching kind of a longer section of stuff get done and completed here I'll go ahead and harvest this just just so I can stop looking at it Let's go ahead and look at our journal. Let's see. Those said slept on the ground during their pilgrimage. I wish I didn't have to. Yeah. We definitely need more beds. Oh, that's when we were under attack. Complaining about food and things. Uh, an attack again, so... Obviously, these guys... Their only real gripe is being under siege almost constantly. Let's see. Not really seeing anything on the horizon in right now, so we're pretty safe this night. And you know what? 
I'm gonna go ahead and do some stuff off camera. Even though I said it might not work, but I feel like I, I need to get the wall done this episode so we can start working on other structures for your guys' feedback and entertainment. So give me one second and we'll hopefully be back and still be alive. Okay, so it has been a few days, which were relatively peaceful, which is nice. A little bit of wolves, but I went ahead and cleared them out. Nothing too major happened, which is great for us. As you can see, the perimeter wall is complete. Um, what I'm going to end up doing in the long run is maybe making a little gap and then making another layer and then connecting the two so it's a thicker wall uh, with an actual pathway on top of it so we can put archers up there. And then over here, you know, make a little bit more of a standard gatehouse and then a small gatehouse out in the back corner just so people have a good way out. Um, not much else to say that happened except for I was able to promote a footman up to another archer. So we have three archers now. And then also was able to promote one to another knight. So we have two knights. I don't know where the new one is, but he's around. So we have two knights, three archers, a couple footmen, and two clerics, which is great for our army. Um, I was a little worried because it was being so peaceful. And my worry ended up being a little true. So if we look around, obviously nothing's going to attack us right now. But if we go up here to the hill where the army was, things have been spawning, but they've been spawning up here. Um, a thing of archers spawned, which is a problem. Uh, more wolves spawned up here, I believe. Another ogre spawned up here. And uh, a couple other things. So what we're going to have to do is clear them out and I want to try and do that for you guys now um, so I'm gonna go ahead and save which I think would be best thing to do okay save just fine we are on day 15 great of this month I don't, I don't know how many days it's been since we first started because I don't think it really tracks that anyways we're gonna go ahead and tell our people to construct a ladder and we want the shortest point possible to that ladder. So we'll put the new one right about there. And then we will move our army. Both of them. Into their closest location. And you can see them all move out. It's quite nice, you know, the, the graphics and having everyone set pieces. Everyone looks pretty unique, which is a great thing over Timber and Stone that Stonehearth has, I think. It has a lot more character. Um, you can really see kind of what each person is wearing. Um, and also kind of just, just their overall, kind of what level they are based on that equipment. So that ladder is going up. And we will start the siege pretty much straight away. So we'll get both groups to start moving up here. We're gonna get probably get some lag as well, but yeah. Yeah, yeah. We're gonna get lag for a couple reasons. Um, obviously, because of this path just now opening up, all of these AIs up here are kind of figuring out, hey, we can actually attack now. Um, and so, this is why we're, we're dropping in frames. And this is also another reason why we really need to clear these guys out before they become a, a problem for the save kind of gameplay here. So we're gonna initially engage the outskirts and then slowly fight our way through. Hopefully the archers doesn't create too much of a problem for us, but we'll just have to wait and see I don't know if there's any of them out to the sides flanking at all. Doesn't look like it. So we'll try and put it on double speed. It'll probably affect the performance a little bit here. Okay, here we go. Our army is finally ready to clash. Um. Uh oh. Uh oh. Okay, so we are starting to fight. And I don't know what they're doing pathing-wise, our people. 
Um, but they're they're going for whatever they're doing. I don't think I don't think we're we're gonna be able to survive this very easily. But if our people were able to group up well enough, nope. So we lost one person already. You can see just how much of a trouble these archers are gonna be. But luckily we're kind of away from them right now. I'm really, really hoping here for the best. Our players need to stop running away, as that's definitely going to affect um, their healing capabilities if they're constantly moving like that. And then that focusing the little guys here is uh, probably the biggest problem that I can see, but I think... Ogo, and then also the mountain here are knights, so they probably hold aggro. Um, it might be better to have them actually come to us. And so I'm going to go ahead and load real quick. Load game. And we'll give this another shot. But this time we'll just build the ladder and leave it. Let them come in naturally on their own and see uh see what we can do about it real quick i just want to see how they're going to behave uh, so maybe if we fail again we'll just worry about it next episode actually fighting them but uh this episode was just increasing our defensive capabilities for sure so that ladder will be built up and then uh those armies will attack over some time here. Now what would be nice is if I could get a few ladders and then maybe we can't find um, some of our archers here. They're standing around at all. I'm not seeing any of them. Okay, well, let's go ahead and group everyone together inside the walls. Like this, so I can have a head count. You can see them, they're moving in mass right now. Which is not good. So let's see if we can't get some archers up on the wall here. Just like this. Alright, we'll also town alert mode here. Now what I want to know is why our archers actually came down off their thing. Um, I think town alert mode's probably causing some issues about that. Yeah, this archer here is not listening to us right now. Let's do this. Okay, so if we're able to kill this initial party, plus the mountain and some other things, that would be best. Come on, get healed, get healed. Okay, so I got healed. Knight's level 3, which is pretty cool. Now these guys will route, which is nice as well. Okay. So it looks like that defensive barrage there really helped. We got a bunch of levels out of this. Look at this. Nice level three and all that. I think they increased the leveling speed as well, so. That is nice. We ended up taking a good chunk of their army out. 
just naturally there. And so I think we'll just leave the bridge up. And, uh, when I bridge the, the nice little ladder there. And let them come down naturally over time. I have a couple level 6 footmen now, which is great as well. Anyways, I think that's going to do us for this episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. I know it was a long one, but a lot of things need to get done. Uh, so we can proceed and hopefully um, carry on with the series. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed the content, feel free to subscribe. If you all enjoyed the episode, feel free to check out the other content that I've created on this channel. Go ahead and leave a comment down below on what you want built next. And I'll see you guys next time in some stuff.